This might be interesting to a few guys because I spent a goddamn time on researching this. Initiating. It is Thursday, it's half past 3 a.m. and this was a crazy day. I wasted so much time with, you know, on, on this CNC shield. I invested way too much time in this GRBL. Way, way, way too much time. This is a project for later on, as definitely. You use this GRBL for DIY CNC machines and stuff like that. So these are plans for the future, but for now, all I wanted to do is just to control. <sighs> This goddamn stepper motor and well, check this out, I did it. To recap the scenario, this is the Arduino Uno and on there fits a CNC shield with the motor drivers. I basically don't use these, but you know, why not? Just put them in there. This one has the heatsink on it and it is getting fairly hot. And well, USB plugs into the Uno and the CNC shield needs an external power supply and I only have this insanely huge one but it well it does the job 12 volts right there let me turn on the light that's way better and as you can see here 0.14 amps I can actually turn this down a bit there we go with this little screw you can regulate the amps if you can hear that, that's probably too much. This middle position right there seems to be perfect. And yeah, that's the NEMA 17 stepper motor connected to the X axis. And other than that, there isn't much to it. I'm currently learning the reconfiguration for the CNC shield because, you know, I still need to pro, well, I still need to wire stuff with uh, to the CNC shield. So I need to translate all the pins now. But well, it works. I, I guess it works. I will get to the code in a second. The purpose for this experiment is, well, a first, first experiment. I want to create a, you know, a motor probably up here to lift and shut the rolling shutter in front of my window. This thing right there, you get it. I just want to try that. Should be a funny experiment. Power supply CNC shield stepper motor breadboard for further tests. Oh yeah, there is a problem because this motor is always using power. This is first of all inefficient. This thing gets hot and like it's a waste of electricity. So the plan is to include a relay and I think a relay might do the trick. I want to connect a clock, a relay, this thing and limit switches, something like that. And the clock should activate the relay. The relay should activate this power supply, not this one, but the smaller one, obviously. And then the motor should activate, pull it up or pull it down. And then the relay should shut it off again. That's basically the plan. Okay, and I guess this might be interesting to a few guys because I spent a goddamn time on researching this, compiling information, stuff like that. It's insane. So first of all, I defined the pins, only three. Edit enable, X direction five and X step is number two. Define this integer steps, 3,200 steps. This NEMA 17, needs 200 steps per revolution. And another interesting insight is, well, these pins, they control the micro stepping and I connected all three of them, resulting in 16 micro steps. And this results in 3,200 steps per revolution. There is also a step delay, 60 milliseconds. If we change that to, let's say 300, then that's the result fairly slower. Then there is a step setup, basically. Just take a look at it. <laughs> I'm a bit too tired to explain. That's the usual setup right there. And well, you know, this part right here, that was a major pain. But the loop itself, that's rather simple. False is clockwise and true is actually counterclockwise. So that's just copied this line. And yeah, that's how I did it. I rotate one quarter turn clockwise and one turn counterclockwise. And in between I wait two seconds. Just a little test right there. Yeah, and now let's shut it off. As I said, it was an insane day, but I'm fairly proud of myself. I'm fairly glad how far I came in just these few days. Tomorrow will be another crazy day because I, I bought stuff. 
I bought a lot of stuff. I will probably receive a new toy and it will be amazing. So definitely something to look forward to. It's a huge saw, it's probably way too big, but I, you know, I have all this play money. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this vlog or this insane donation. And since I'm on my way to develop my own camera slider, I thought I might invest this in more tools. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button away. <laughs> I smashed more code into my brain actually. Bang the bell like crap. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>